Okay, so here we have question um, number 20 from May, June 2014, paper 2, variant 3. A question here about cumulative frequency diagram. And in this question, we are asked, uh, we are told that this diagram, it shows the scores of 500 people in a quiz. Okay, and this is a cumulative frequency. Okay, so on the x-axis is represented the score. On the y-axis is represented what's called the cumulative frequency. So basically, the cumulative frequency means the number of people that achieved that score or less than that score. So for example, this would be the number of people that scored 10 or less. Okay, so the number of people who scored 10 or less would be just about that many, which is something like just over 10, because you've got 10, each of these ones are 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and so on. Okay, so that's what the cumulative frequency table basically tells us. Okay, now, and the first question says, use the diagram to find the median score. Okay, the median score. Now, the median score is the middle score, the score that's in the middle when every, all of the scores are arranged in order of size. Okay, so here we're basically going to, it's really an estimate of the median. So we're going to see that there were 500 um, scores altogether. Okay, the, the, the scores of 500 people are recorded. And so the median score is going to be the one that's right in the middle of that. Okay, and they are in order of size once you put them in a frequency table. Okay, in a cumulative frequency curve. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to make a thin line and I'm going to show you so that you know exactly. I'll change the color so you can see what's happening. Okay, a bit better. Okay, so there's 500 okay people so right in the middle of 500 is 250 now 250 is about here so if i make a line from 250 all the way along until it hits the curve and then from the point where it hits the curve okay which is about here all the way down straight down you get okay the median score the median score is the middle score when they're arranged in order of size okay so you can see that that score is 31, 2, 3, 4, 34. So it looks like here the median score is 34. Okay. So what we did is we went to the middle. Okay, the, the, the score that's in the middle. The score that's in the middle is the 250th because you got 500 scores. You just divide by 2. That gives you 250. Okay. So we went to 250. And we saw what score that represents, which is the 250th score, is 34. Okay, then it says the interquartile range. Now the interquartile range, the interquartile range is basically what's called the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. Now the upper quartile, okay, is three quarters of the way up. So the upper quartile, okay, it's the place where it is, how to find it, where it is, is three quarters of the way up the axis okay so it's three quarters of 500 okay so three quarters of 500 so three quarters of 500 so that's 0 0.75 times 500 okay which is 375 so 375 is not what the upper quartile is, but it's the position of the, of the number that would be called the upper quartile. That's the number okay, below which 75% of the items are below it. So 375 okay, is going to be, this is 350, okay, 60, 75. So it's like halfway between these two. This is 375 over here. Okay, that's called the upper quartile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from there, try and be as accurate as you can. It's going halfway between these two. Okay, you should show this step on your on your working. It's going to hit this line exactly at that point, which is an exact value, which looks like it's 40. That's right, that's 40. Okay, 
So the upper quartile looks like it's 40. So the upper quartile is 40. So I'll just put, therefore, 40. Okay, that's where it is, and this is what it is. The mark which represents the upper quartile is 40. So the interquartile range is 40 minus, now you've got to find the lower quartile. Now the lower quartile, as you can imagine, is a quarter of the way up. If the upper quartile is three quarters of the way up, the lower quartile is a quarter of the way up. So the lower quartile, to find out where it is, you do a quarter times 500. Okay, a quarter times 500, which is 0 0.25 times 500 which gives us 125. So we go to 125, that's 150, that's 110, 25. So again, it's like halfway between 120 and 125, so it's 130, so it's gonna be right here. Somewhere like that, okay? And it gives you a value, which it looks like it's along this line. What's that value it gives you? It gives you the value which is it should be slightly more this way. That looks like it's better. Oops. Okay. So what is that value? Yeah, that looks just right now. That's 21, 2, 3, 4. 24. Okay. So the therefore it's 24. This was 125. Therefore, the lower quartile is 24. So 40 minus 24. Okay, so that's the upper quartile, which is 40. That's the upper quartile. And this is the lower quartile, which is 24. This is the medium, okay, which is 34. So it's 40 minus 24, which is 16. Okay, 24 plus 16 is 40. So 16 is the interquartile range. What does the interquartile range actually mean? What it means is 50% of the data, or 50% of all the um, people in the quiz achieve marks between 24 and 40. 50% of all the marks were between these two values. That's what it means. Okay, so that's what that means. 24, the, the, there was like 25% uh, of all the, the people in the test scored less than 24 marks, okay, and we can say for the median, half of the candidates scored less than 34 marks, and you can say that three quarters of the candidates scored less than 40 marks. That's what these values actually mean. Okay, then it says find the 40th percentile. Now, just like the, the, the lower quartile is the 25th percentile, the upper quartile is the 70th percentile. Okay, the 40th percentile is, a, is what, the one like you can say it's like 40 over 100 times the number of entries. That will tell you where it is. Okay, so if you want to find the, the upper quartile, you do 75 over 100 times 500. That's what three quarters is, 0 0.75. You find out, that's what, that tells you where it is. If you want to find the lower quartile, you have 25 over 100 times 500 which is 0 0.25 times 500, which tells you where the low quartile is. Okay, and to find the, uh, the, the 40th percentile, use 40 over 100 times 500. So that, that's going to give you 40 times 5, okay, which is 200. Okay, so you've got to go to the, the 200th place, okay, which is here, and find out what the value is. Okay, this tells you where the, the 40th percentile is and this number here tells you what the 40th percentile is. So you can see it's 30. Okay, it's 30. Okay, so that's the 40th percentile is equal to 30. Okay, then it says the number of people who scored 30 or less but more than 20. Okay, so they scored 30 or less but more than 20. So the number that scored 30 or less, okay, was 200, okay, and the one that scored 20 was, let's see, we're going to do the opposite way now, we're going to go to 20 as a score and see how many people got less than 20, okay, this was the number of people that got less than, less than 20, which is 80, whoops, get the pen out, so 80 people got less than 20, 
okay, and th and um, 200 people got less than 30. So the ones that got between 20 and 30 are 200 minus 80, this number. Okay, this is the number of people that got between 20 and 30. Okay, that's the, that's the score, that's the range of the scores, and that's the range of the number of people. So 200 people got less than 30, 80 people got less than, um, um, less than 20, okay, 200 got less than 30, and 80 got less than 20, so the numbers that got between 20 and 30 is 120, 200 minus 80. Okay, so the answer for that is 200, whoops, 200 minus 80, which gives you 120, and we've completed that question. Okay, so that's all about cumulative frequency curves. Okay, that question is now done. Okay.